Hello again. I'm going to have to make this one quick because my batteries are rubbish. I bought some Panasonic batteries and they're lasting for about 10 minutes, which is crazy. They normally last for ages. So make it very quick. Teeth. Oh, story of my life. Last time I went to the dentist, they quoted me £1,200 to get four teeth removed and three fillings or the other way around and then partial dentures top and bottom right this time I go back and it's NHS because I'm working part-time and she looked at my teeth and went hmm yeah they're fine y your gums are healthy your teeth are healthy but you've got a, an infection here so that tooth needs to come out and I've got an infection up here I've had it for years so it keeps going from that tooth up there all the time so she's going to take that tooth out put a partial denture on the top I've already got one there but she's going to add the tooth onto it there and put some back teeth on it as well. And I thought, isn't that crazy? A few years ago, I had rotting teeth that needed to come out and get filled. And this time, they're, they're fine. So they've healed. And I thought, isn't that crazy when you go with money and say, I'm paying for everything how they can find ev any little thing wrong with you and say oh no you need that done you need that done and that done and yet when you go there NHS style it's like no you need one tooth and I thought either you're lying because you don't want to do all the work because it's more work for you and you're getting paid the same amount or when you've got money they lie to you because they want it all off of you because you're paying privately and so they'll invent jobs that need doing, that don't need doing. And I thought, it's corrupt either way, really. <laughs> so either I have got crap teeth and they're ignoring that because NHS is covering it, or the real... Ugh, I don't know. Anyway, but anyway, the experience with the dentist was pretty rubbish because normally what they do is you go to the appointment and sit in a waiting room. And this time they said, can you wait outside? You can't come in. So I had to wait for the dentist to be free. And then, so I was stood outside in the cold for 10 minutes before they came and got me. And then I had to put on a stupid mask, sanitise my hands and then get a gun at my head, which, I, oh, that does my head in. She didn't even give me a chance to say, can you do it on my wrist? She just phew, straight away goes into the dentist Um I had four x-rays done and it showed an infection on one tooth and the rest were fine. So it wasn't as bad as I thought. So I've got to go back in January, have the tooth removed, new denture put straight in. So that's the most they can charge me is £350 for any treatment on NHS. Whereas before it could have gone up to thousands and thousands for lots of work. So yeah. Anyway, when I was waiting to go in, an old guy came up to me and said, can I go and look at what it says on that door? So I had to move to let him walk past because he was scared of me. That, that's what this year has done to some people, scared of human contact. <laughs> anyway, um, he read the door and he goes, how can I make an appointment? And I said, you have to phone in. And he said, I don't have a phone. I said, have you got the internet? He said, no. And I went... Oh, I don't know. And and he goes, what happens to people like me? He's in his 80s, doesn't have mobile phones, doesn't have um, internet and anything else. And he said, How do, what do I do? <clears throat> so when I went in, I asked them, what does that old man do outside? And she said, we don't know. And I said, well, he needs to see a dentist, but he can't make an appointment. She said, I don't know. And I said, well, surely there must be some, you know other way to see people that don't have internet and mobile phones and she said he'll just have to buy one and I'm like oh my god there's a generation of elder people who don't live like us they, they weren't brought up on computers and phones especially in the highlands of Scotland you know a lot of these people will, might live on a croft they don't even have a phone line and they're expecting them to have all this modern technology and if they don't have it they get left out and it's quite scary to think that there's all these people getting overlooked with their health and all this kind of stuff because they don't fit into modern day living and that is quite upsetting really 
and because they don't fit in with modern day living you don't know where they are or who they are because they can't contact you they're sat in the house self-isolating and you don't know they exist how many people are going to be found in the beds you know because they've been shut away from the world and they've not been able to reach out it's so frustrating but anyway that's the end of that one so i thought i'd just put this one on quick so yeah it's just quite funny how i can have a mouthful of rotting teeth when i'm paying private and when i go nhs my teeth are great so they've either healed in four years three years or they're lying <laughs> and they are crap but they just don't want to do the work so yep just thought i'd put that on anyway december look up at the sky this month because there's going to be loads and loads of shooting stars get out there make your wishes make all your dreams come true